Okay, hopefully it's worked. Sorry, I've like recorded this video three times. My iPad keeps running out of storage. So, <laughs> solve the system is what we're gonna do for our first um, example video. This will cover two topics in Alex. One topic will deal with fractions. The other one will deal with decimals. Uh, you did the fraction one, definitely in Algebra 2. The decimal one, I think you probably did in Algebra 1. You did the fraction one in Algebra 1 too, okay? So this is very much a review lesson for you guys. Um, okay, so this is the problem we're going to be working with. And what we're going to be doing is solving this system. And we have three methods, graphing, substitution, or elimination. Uh, I'm not going to do graphing because it's not in y equals mx plus b form. I'm not going to do substitution because I don't have an x equals something or y equals something. So that leaves me elimination. So I just need to check that everything's lined up. So I see my x's are lined up, my y's are lined up, equals, and then my constant. So I'm good to go. I'm good to do elimination. How? As far as I know, uh, most of you don't like dealing with fractions, and neither do I. Um, and if I can get rid of them at any point, I would. So we're going to look to get rid of our fractions whenever you have fractions. And so I'm looking at this first one, and I notice I have a 3 on the bottom and a 2 on the bottom. And this negative 5 is technically over 1. So I know the least common denominator between all of this is 6. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply everything by 6. And so a third of 6 is just 2x and a negative, so I have minus, and a half of 6 is 3y, and then I have negative 5 times 6, which will just equal a negative 30, okay? And so we're going to do the same thing here, so just think what would be the common denominator between all those terms, and as I look, well, I have 4, 1, and 4, so that's an easy one, it's just going to be 4, okay? And so 3 fourths times 4 is just, and there's a negative, is just negative 3x, Okay, 4 times 4 is plus 16y, and negative 1 fourth times 4 is just a negative 1. All right, so now I have a new set. It's all whole numbers, so I'm going to go ahead and start the process of elimination because I like whole numbers and that's easy to deal with. And so what we're going to do is we're going to eliminate a variable. And the way to eliminate a variable is one needs to be positive, one needs to be negative, and they need to be the same coefficient. So right now I have 2 and 3. Over here, I have th negative 3 and positive 16. So I'm thinking, mm, trying to get this to be the same number is going to be way too big. It's going to be 48, and that's huge. But 2 and 3 to be the same number, that's just 6. And 6 is way smaller and easier to work with. Okay, so I want to change 2x into 6x. And so the way to do that is to multiply it by 3. So I'm going to multiply this entire equation by 3. Okay, and because you multiply the entire thing by 3, you're not changing the value, all right? You're not magically just making it a number. No, we're keeping everything the same. It's all equal. So 3 times 2 makes 6x, and 3 times negative 3 is negative 9y. 3 times negative 30 is negative 90, okay? And I also want to change this to become, we want this one actually to be a negative 6x because you want positive 6x minus 6x, and that will make 0. So I'm going to keep that as negative. I multiply by 2. And so 2 times negative 3 makes negative 6x. 2 times 16 is plus 32y. And 2 times a negative 1 is negative 2. All right, and so now I have everything perfectly lined up, ready to go for elimination. And so what elimination is, after you have one variable, one's positive, one's negative, and they have the same coefficient, leading coefficient, you just add the two equations together. So we're going to add these two together. 6x minus 6x just becomes 0, so I don't care about it. And I have negative 9 plus 32, which will become a positive 23y. And then negative 90 minus 2 is a negative 92. And now I can solve this equation because it has one variable, which is y, and I can solve for y. So I'm going to go ahead and divide by 23, okay? Negative 92 divided by 23, and y comes out to be negative 4. All right, so what that should tell me right now is because I got y equals a number, I'm in the category or I'm in the system that has one solution. And so when it has one solution, you have x equals and y equals something. And there's one point on the graph where they intersect. Okay, and so I have y equals negative 4. So now what I need to do is figure out x. And right now you have six equations ran up here that have x in them. I don't care which one of those six you plug it into. They're all technically equal, okay, when y is negative 4. And so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, I'm going to think here what would be easier. Well, these have fractions, and so no, that's just nasty. 
these have way bigger numbers than these. So I'm gonna plug it into one of these. And if I'm looking, and if I'm going with that, two and three seem way smaller than three and 16. I know it's 30, but I don't wanna multiply by 16. I'd rather add and subtract with 30. Okay, so I'm gonna plug it into here. But whatever you see more fit, you can plug it into wherever you want. So I'm gonna plug it right there. And so I have two X minus three times a negative four equals negative 30. And so that's just two X plus 12 equals negative 30. We will go ahead and subtract our 12 and I get two X equals negative 42. So I divide by two and X is equal to a negative 21. And so now I have a Y equals and an X equals, so I have my solution. And that solution is the point negative 21 comma negative four. And that is my answer. All right, and so for those of you that would like to try graphing, this is what I'm saying, is in your window normally it's 10, it goes out 10 and left 10 and up 10 and down 10. So this wouldn't be in your window and so you couldn't find it unless you started like zooming out on your calculator and hopefully you'd understand that takes way longer than just doing some simple algebra. All right, so this is the fraction one. The decimal one isn't much different to be honest. Um, we'll just get started on it and if you wanna finish solving it, you can. So it's negative 4x plus 1.5y equals 5.8 and 0.16x minus 0.07y equals 0 0.86. Okay, and so what we want to go ahead and do is solve this system. Okay, looking again, I'm not in y equals mx plus b form, so graphing is stupid. I'm not in x equals and y equals form, so I'm not going to do substitution. But I am have my x's, my y's, and my constants lined up, so I can do elimination pretty easy. Once again, though, I think most of us would rather deal with whole numbers than decimals or fractions. And so we want to get rid of the decimals. And the way we're going to do this is just notice how far they're going. So this one goes into a tenth. So if I multiply it by 10, it goes to a whole number, right? And this goes to a 10th. So if I multiply it by 10, it goes to a whole number. And this is to a 10th. So if I multiply it by 10, it goes to a whole number. So I'm gonna multiply this entire top equation by 10. And so what I get is negative four X plus 15 Y equals 58. All right, and if I look at the bottom one, it goes to a hundredth, a hundredth, and a hundredth. So instead of multiplying by 10, this time I'm gonna multiply by 100. And so I'm gonna get 16X minus seven Y equals 86. And so now I'm ready to roll to figure out which variable I want to eliminate. Cause now I'm dealing with whole numbers that I like way easier. Okay, and I'm noticing right now, X looks beautiful because I have a positive and a negative and the negative is already a, like just a multiple of the positive one. So I don't need to change this equation at all because I can turn negative 4x into a negative 16 rather easily. Trying to change a 7 into a 15 is not possible, right? And I have to multiply 15 by 7 to get the thing, and that's just way too much work. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and multiply this big mess by 4. And so I get negative 16x plus 60y. And 58 times 4 is 232. All right, and so now I'm just going to go ahead and copy over this because I don't need to multiply it by anything because it is good to go. And so my x's are ready to go ahead and be eliminated. Okay, so I'm going to add the two equations together, and that becomes 0. And then I have 60 minus 7, which just becomes 53y. And 232 plus 86, which will become 318. So I'm going to go ahead and solve for y in this case. So I'll divide by 53. And you get y equals 6. And then you want to go ahead and solve for x. And so just pick an equation that makes most sense to you. Um, I'd probably pick this one right here, just because it seems to be the smaller numbers. So I get negative 4x plus 15 times six equals 58. And so negative four X plus 90 equals 58 minus my 90 equals a negative 32. So therefore X will be 
8. So I have an x equals, I have a y equals, so my point is 8 comma 6. I'm hoping this is ringing a bell for you guys and you kind of remember it. But yeah, so that will be two topics on Alex for you.